All right. It's Riku time. We're diving with Riku. Hello, everybody. Super Hyper Edgy here. I'm here with, uh, what's your name? Uh, Ariel. Ariel is new to the show this week, so, oh. um, welcome her. Oh. Oh. Don't, don't rip on her too much, just because she's oh. new. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, as you can see, I'm doing fabulously on this track. Haven't hit anything. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah. I think it's really weird that they just used this asset that they never used anywhere else and just were like, oh, it's fine. Just drop a whole bunch of them in there. Like, yeah. That's, that's weird to me. Oh, it's weird? Yeah, it's weird. Oh. Well, look at all this digital code. This is yeah. what the inside of a computer looks like. This is what it'll feel like to be a programmer. Oh, oh. And being a programmer will also feel like pain. Okay. You're yeah, also cause... running out of time. I just now oh, noticed because it's flashing. <laughs> oh, we're good. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. You know, I'm looking forward to programming so much. Oh. A lot. Why? Because uh, you know when you think of something positive, it'll make it less uh, hurtful, right? Like, it's I... like, I'm looking forward to doing my taxes. My then you'll have a positive mind going into it. And then it won't suck as much, right? That's not. That's how. That's how it works, right? No. Oh it's no. Not? Okay. No. Oh boy. Oh, Riku's adorable. Tron outfits for everyone. You get a Tron <laughs> outfit. You get a Tron outfit. I would. I would enjoy that. You could wear it anywhere. They're just arresting him immediately. Yeah, they didn't even ask for his ID. But Riku just kind of like, shove off and just like, I'll do it myself. <laughs> oh, Don't... Riku. So silly. Yeah. Oh, and uh, now we get to see more events from the movie. Um, I think Riku's story is more close to the movie than Sora's story. What, I don't even remember 90% of this movie. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They didn't meet these two. <laughs> Are you sure, Tyler? Yeah. Are you sure this anime boy didn't re meet this real-life person? Well, it would have been really funny if I looked it up just now and David Gallagher, the guy who plays Riku, was in Tron Legacy somehow. The Grid. That sounds like a really great club name. The grid? Oh, yeah. what if it was a Tron-themed club and everything was black with the neon lights? You're in luck. Oh, we need to find that out right now if it's Disneyland like or Disney World. Oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> what? If, what if just? Uh, what if? Did I what if you were just sitting around and this guy who's your captor just walks up to you and hands you a stick? I mean, Riku has been handed things by strangers before, so he's just like, whatever, I'll figure it out. He's, cause like... And he just got it, he got it on I his first try. I still it's like fine. that animation. It's like the movie, but yeah. um, I told you that in a, in a freshman year of high school, that, well, something just fell on my desk, um, that... We went to Disneyland for spring break, and I really wanted to get a Roxas cosplay, so I could go around <laughs> dressed as a Roxas in Disneyland. So you're actually not allowed to wear costumes at Disneyland. Yeah, you could, if as long as you don't wear a wig, and you make an authentic looking outfit, like authentic as heck, you could get away with it. I mean, you could get away with it, but you have to be careful because th they might kick you out of the um, uh, out of Disneyland. Th there's if... this, yeah, but there's this uh, cosplay group actually that um, did a Kingdom Hearts thing where they all dressed up as like Sora, Riku, Roxas, Kyrie, and Axel. Mm -hmm. And there was a part where like. Sora and Roxas were kicked out of like this play area part, like Toontown or something, some walkthrough part. Oh yeah. But uh Riku wasn't. They thought Riku worked there. 
Oh! <laughs> yeah, they thought that's, Riku just that's straight That's very up silly. Dead. Yeah. It's really funny. Though that would be really great to have, like... A cosplayer that did Sora at Disneyland. It would be. It would be. It would be kind of fun. It'd just be fun if they did something Kingdom Hearts, and not other franchises. I mean, I other franchises are fine too. I mean, yeah, but I want. Because I mean, Hearts. Captain America's at Disneyland, so. I mean, I wasn't disregarding that one. I know you want to see that. Are there other Marvel ones, or...? Yeah, they Kingdom have, like, a Thor exhibit. Um, oh. they have a, um... They have a bunch of the suits from the Iron Man movies, like, at di in display. And, like, it's like oh, a cool. Tony Stark museum. It's really kind of yeah. cool. And they have, like, a bunch of Stark Industries stuff. Mm -hmm. Um... I think there was a Loki walking around the park, too. Mm hmm I don't know of anyone else's, though. That was a couple years ago when I checked. When I was, like, well, super into to the Avengers. Well, oh, you're doing um, a lot of damage with your... Yeah. Oh, man. This guy, it's, uh... I, it didn't tell us its name. Ow. It's really cute, actually. <laughs> oh, it'll be cute later. It won't be cute later. Okay, uh, I was like, will it? Because it's pretty cute yeah. now. You know what I never got to do when I visited Disneyland? Hmm. I never did the Tower of Terror, and they shut <gasps> that down. No! They sh they shut it down for, like, the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride? Yeah. Um, but if I went to Disneyland again, of course I'd want to go do all the rides again. Yeah. Yeah. And getting the Fast Pass is just kind of worth it, because I think you can just get them at, like, a beginning of a ride before you go, or something like that. And then you just come back later. Like, you're like, I'll get a fast pass. And then you come back later, you do something else. Yeah. And, and then you just go to the front of the line. So it's, like, actually kind of nice. So what you do is, like, in the beginning of the day, you pick up a fast pass. And usually the fast passes take, like, three, four hours later you get to take yeah. the ride. So you do, like, a couple of them. And just make sure you space them out uh, nicely so that you're not losing your chance to ride. Yeah. And then at that four hour mark you get to just walk around uh you get to ride all the rides so yeah. before that you just walk around and do all the other stuff disneyland has mm -hmm. which is a lot yeah there's a lot of it's not boring no do you remember uh i think you let me borrow the book um what's it called the extra le level up level up mm-hmm yeah, that one. Um, it talked about like Disneyland is kind of like constructed like a video game because you can use these things called weenies that games like oh he shot like a heart. Yeah, I was wall. gonna say that. Um, like a cute little heart shape. You can uh, cause like Disneyland uses something called weenies so that if you see something on the park, you just head that way and you can find it. And that's something that the Uncharted games use. A lot of Naughty Dog games now use weenies so that you don't even have a map. You just look and you go, I need to go that way. And then oh yeah. It out. That's what uh like, cause that's a thing in video games. I was like, that's cool that he's like, remember Disneyland makes game. You can make games based off it. You're like that's a good game design. I'm like, huh. So basically, so you don't get lost. Yeah. Because so not a lot of too. people are going to look at the map. They're just going to wander around and be like, I can't find the thing I'm trying to find. Yeah. Don't do that while driving, because you won't get there. But because you needed to protect Especially if you're in a big city. Like if you live in Nashville, Tennessee. Is that where you live, Tyler? Yes. <laughs> Come Sam. find me, everyone. <laughs> you mind if I go with you after all? To the portal? Sure. Jack Daniels is here. Riku can leave whenever he wants, but, like, he's like, oh, we have to get out of here through the portal? Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, Riku flew down from the sky to get here. Like, he doesn't need a stake portal. You know what trope from Sonic I really enjoy? I tried to get back, hmm. but I when Sonic falls I on his face. Get to the portal. <laughs> it uses massive power and How that's a thing. Forever. Oh I've no. I've never like seen him fall on his face. Only be open from the 
outside. Uh, it happens in they Sonic Adventure stopped. One. Happens twice in Unleashed. Happens. Uh, it's like so a con portal. it's a running gag. It activated when I came in. It's it happens in Sonic X. Not for long. I don't remember. On cycle. About eight hours. Um. So we go now. I, there's more, no but like they're exam. He just falls on his face from the sky and just. What do you mean? Like, has to pull his face out of the close. ground. My disc is everything, Sam. It's I don't know if the key. next time we record will be before ticket, or after Sonic Mania. And not just for me. Probably I'm excited. before, because you're going to, like, I'm lose yourself in it. That's <laughs> a good point. <laughs> we should probably a... record it the next episode My before you open Son uh, Sonic Mania. <laughs> Sonic Mania? Game over. Game over. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Game over, man. Game over. Perfect in our world. I can't let that happen. I love that guy in Alien. So what do we do? Too. Oh yeah. Alien. Aliens. Rest in peace, Bill Paxton. My mom quoted that at me like my entire life, and I never knew what it was from. <laughs> and then we were watching Aliens together, and my mom turned to me and looked me dead in the eye. I like with a smile on her face. I was like, what? And then he, the guy goes. As soon as he starts to say it, she's like, "Game over, man!" And you're like, "Oh, <laughs> mom is quoting something." Yeah, she's not crazy. She's just weird. Yeah. Speaking of weird, my mom sends me like five heart emoticons whenever she texts me. My mom knows me. I don't like them anymore. Uh, I don't like emoticons, and I never have. So she stopped sending me them. Thank goodness. She sent laughed. me the poop emoji, and I was like, why? Please don't. Kill some time to huh. back. You know what the poop emoji is popular in? <sighs> that one movie. I'm s Patrick Stewart must have done that movie to be like, I did that movie, but they paid me a lot to voice a piece of crap. Because Patrick Stewart is like this. He's a knight. He's like been knighted. Uh, <laughs> paid big money to read a couple lines as a piece of poop. Mm hmm. And say weird poop puns. Oh. You see? Did you go see the movie, Tyler? Because it sounds like you know not. enough about the movie. I did so much research on it just so I could hate it even more. I was a- it was a hateful research. I didn't- I hated it so much I didn't want to see it, but I wanted to see how bad it was. You need to complete this. your research and go see it. No, I don't want to You can't research them... something and then not go see the original content. Ariel, I don't want to give the money. I'll do it later when I don't have to pay for it. Okay. I don't want to give them money. I am I sure you could, like, find it online, like, someone holding, like, a shaky film camera. And, like, people walking <laughs> in front of this screen. And it would be the same experience. That would yeah. be a film I'd watch that kind of film camera. Um, yeah. I went on this East Coast trip in middle and high school, and one of my, uh, one of the kid's parents Sam. bought, like, Up and some other movie off the street in Who's New this? York. And it was exactly that. Some guy holding a camera of Up, and it was in, and it had Spanish subtitles, and the text was in Spanish, too. And I'm like, there's Spanish. At the time, I was like, they have Spanish theaters in New York? I thought it was all English, you know? Um, <laughs> so, like, you know, it was just like us in this big bus, and then Up was playing, and it was just a shaky camera. Well. <laughs> okay. I saw, I saw Up before I went on the trip, so I'm like, this is really crappy. Your disc. Uh oh. Dad, Dad, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh no. It is. I still don't bother looking up these. She looks so dead. It looks I know. so weird. It looks so weird and get. Uh, actually, she looks just like a model. It's like just blank face model that sometimes back. happens to Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, she's just like a, a mannequin that he picked up at the store. Yeah. You've done enough already. Blow up doll. Ew. I mean, yeah. Did this happen in like the two minutes that Riku was out fighting? Yes, this was when they went in the club. Wait. And things went bad, and Daft Punk was shredding it in there with them beats. 
Okay. And Riku was outside for two minutes. Fighting some... Some dreams. Well, six minutes, really. I cut out the other minutes. Okay, so six minutes, and they found a, a half-dead girl and, like, carried her out, and Dad lost his disc in that six well, minutes. Well, the main haughty toddy boy was with the dead girl in there when she was a fine, and then Dad came later to be like, I'm gonna stop whoever's here, and then Rinsler went and took the disc, because they didn't show that scene. Also, this is cool because you can unlock stuff with this, and it's like, you want to go in the store? Boom, unlock. Little mini game. That's fun. I like that they put that in there because it's like, oh hey, you're I'm hacking, hacking you're the hacking. grid. I'm in. I just, I don't remember so much. I don't remember this movie at all. So like, every time they skip a thing, I'm like, where did this come? Where did this girl come from? Yeah. You know. Also, shout out to Aeroslayer, who's been watching the videos and commenting. He mentioned, I believe it's a he. If you're a he or a she or a they, whatever, that's you. Um, <laughs> uh, they were saying that the layout of Tron Legacy World is really weird, and it's kind of hard to navigate. And it's true, because everything looks the same. It doesn't help for the aesthetic, but they didn't have any clear visual things know. to help you navigate anywhere. But didn't mm. you write your code? Yeah. yeah. Aerial There's... coding! That, that is a problem with the Tron world that I never actually noticed. They kind of get around it a little bit in uh, Tron Uprising, but not enough. Korra is the last ISO. Yeah. She's an ISO, so she sleeps with her eyes open. That's what that means. They manifested like a flame. Get it. I forgot that his inside of his robe, like, glows. Yeah, I, I love that, actually. It's like my, like, I hated this character design until, like, he went into the dark area, and then I saw that it was glowing on the inside, and I was like, oh, yo. <laughs> oh, like in the movie? Yeah. <laughs> I hate Sam's outfit. I, no, I hate Korra's outfit. It's, like, asymmetrical, and it bothers me. Is there some asymmetrical designs you do like? Not many. I like Titus, Titus? from, like, Final Fantasy X. How, How do you like Link's outfit in the beginning so of uh, Twilight Princess, his farm dead. outfit? Clue. It's kind of dorky, Clue but it's, like, he's a farm boy. It's he's okay. a farm boy. It's fun. System. It's, like, a little fun outfit. You're like, oh, hey. Never, yeah. And you're, like, got, then you get the heroes realized. closer, like, yeah. <laughs> Who saw the ISOs as an imperfection? Um, so we destroyed them. Yeah. Ariel does character design, so that's no, why I asked her. He's me. Oh yeah. I screwed it up. That's what I do. I character Chasing design. I actually was teaching my character design class today to the middle schoolers. Right and at the end of the lecture, and I was like, yep, that's the end of the lecture. And everyone was like, wow, that was really fun. That was the best lecture we've ever had. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> it felt good. <laughs> oh, that was nice. They're like, oh, it's over? <laughs> yeah. His single-minded thirst for answers. I th I'd feel honored if I taught a class and a kid was like, "It's over! Are you kidding me? I want more!" <laughs> like slam their like so if we're not desk in half or something. Oh my like, gosh! Well, there, kid. Are you having deep thoughts? They found us. He's all like, "I wish course. I could put all my hardships away." No, he oh, was yeah. thinking about how curiosity killed. Not just the cat, but, like, a thousand other people, and it was Ansem's fault. Yeah. That's the new saying. Curiosity killed the cat, but also a billion other people, and it's Ansem's fault. Yeah. Also, it's not Ansem, it's Xehanort. Riku was just but mentioning it's... Ansem. She it's... just gave yeah. him... <clears throat> she just... How's she gonna fight this dude? She is not. You see that? It's too violent to show on screen. This is TV Y7. <laughs> there was a version of Dragon Ball Z where they cut out the punches. So literally, you would see people, you would hear the sound, and then you would see them go flying. So it was really weird to watch. <sighs> that sounds terrible to watch. It does. It sounds like, like in Cardcaptor Sakura when she's like saying goodbye to Shower Run at the train station. And it's, like, really emotional because it's, like, her, their first crush, you know? And they're talking to each other. Instead, Sharon's like, okay, bye, in the English version. Come on, Sam. 
<laughs> Do you know why? They cut out all of the romance, like all of it. Oh right, isn't like they come out, they cut out that like both the kids have a crush on this older boy. Yeah, so they cut that out, but they also cut out the two young kids having a crush on each other. <laughs> so they just cut out this whole important part of the show. Yeah. I saw it dock here earlier. Which is like Sakura growing as a person and Shaoran stopping to be, stop being a bratty child. Yeah. So there's no development in the. Oh, sweet, sweet flower. <laughs> you like you like Sana? Yeah, she's so cute. Don't worry, she'll she'll stay for a while. And oh, we're dies. aboard the ship now. Yep. Remember this room? Sora was here. I remember this move room from the movie, because it actually is really recognizable, having yeah. a different color scheme. Sam, yeah. Well, see, he didn't see do the dumb thing. Yeah. He just but whipped he him that. out, and it was cool. Oh! Ooh! Flow, mo <laughs> Flow motion in, in a cutscene. Rinsler's yeah. dead. <laughs> Rinsler's dead now. <laughs> You see the difference between uh, when Sora let an NPC handle the situation when Sora, did, I mean, when Riku took the situation into his hands. Right. Just straight up smacked him. I love it when characters are sometimes just done in a game and they just don't care anymore. <laughs> I, I know you, you're not for this game, but Azura's Wrath has something like that where, like, someone can have, like, give this long speech at you, but then you can press a button and it's like, uh, punch so and so in the face. Oh my god! To like interrupt their speech, so like they could be like, blah, 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 ramble, ramble, glow, 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 and then you can just punch him in the face to interrupt his speech. And there's, I think that's really kind of funny. There's a lot of things I do like about Azura's Wrath, but it's that mm -hmm. big main one that I have an issue with. Woo! This is cool. Yeah. It's like you can dash on the little laser beams. Yeah. So, right up there is the boss room, but first. We must oh. assemble our next member. Sheepa? You know Sheepas and Sheep, so Sheepa. Oh! Hello, Sheepa. It's your turn to the party That's now. That's not actually that cute. I was gonna be like, it's super cute, and then I like actually looked at it, and I'm like, uh-uh. No. No. Now we do boss room. Okay. You can't flow motion into the boss room. No. Because it's like a ac attack move. Hey, remember that cute thing we saw earlier in the video? The cute what? Yeah, the... You'll see. Okay. We'll just let these guys have like the yell over the bridge talk. That ha that this happens in movies, you know. <laughs> this is reminding me a lot of a certain scene in Star Wars Episode you Seven. That we would change the world <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you broke your promise. I took the system to I know what scene you're talking about. Oh, look at that oh. cute thing. It's not as cute. No, it's still pretty cute. I don't believe it. You can leave this one to me. Yeah. All right, so this Riku's is the boss a cool battle guy. That if you're not leveled up enough or strong enough, you'll lose time to. This is the one. Oh. Is this the one for you? This was the one that made me lose time when I first played this game. But thankfully, in this version, I'm so much better than that, that, you know, nothing's ever an issue for me whatsoever. We got this in the bag. <laughs> so just watch and learn, Ariel. Oh, okay. You'll see what an expert does at this sort of situation. There's nothing that could go wrong here. Oh. oh. Um, so I don't think I had a problem with this boss fight. Hey, look, Moogles. I had a we problem. Seen a Moogle in a while. I had a problem with right, the other Tron boss fight. Really, the Rinsler? Yeah, the Rinsler one. Because it was just... My brain was not comprehending it at that moment. I actually I had see. to go to bed and then wake up the next morning and do it. Yeah. Alright, so with this, it can heal itself if you don't do this in time. So you gotta do, like, energy jammer. God, I love this, like, pseudo-coding hacking. <laughs> I really like it, too. It's fun. I just... Tron worlds are so much fun. I... I mean, I've been saying this since the first Kingdom Hearts video. 
even though this is my first episode and you guys probably have never heard this before, uh, that Tron Uprising would be a great world. I don't know if they've... have they put it... they, they haven't really put, like, a TV show in this. No, they we haven't. We have Pixar now. We Actually, Pixar. they kind of did with the Hercules world in the last game we played. With young Hercules. Oh, you're right. But it can kind of be counted as, like, the movie still. Yeah. So, like, it's hard to say. Yeah, I mean... But, it'd be really but, great if we could get, like... The Little Lion King show is really cute. Oh, I haven't watched that. It's really cute. It's like That's a bunch cute. of little... It's a little boy, and he's like, I'm gonna be a police officer, basically. Uh, yeah. And so it's him trying to be a police officer. It's really cute. <laughs> oh, so it's like uh, Zootopia, but because um, yeah, he's a police officer. Uh, it's like Zootopia, but like hyenas harassing uh, pigs and meerkats and stuff. And then he's like, I'm going to go beat up the hyenas and then fails. And then doesn't he have like some weird power that glows on his like leg or something? I actually haven't watched the show, so I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I'm talking about it like I know what I'm talking about, but I actually just saw like a summary of the show and like a trailer. Oh, here's the kill move. What is the kill move going to be called? En er jammer. Energy jammer. Boss. Get it boss. Like, I like it. Yeah, I like how it says get boss. I know. But uh, I'm really excited for DuckTales. I think this comes out this month. Oh, that's right. I forgot they were doing a DuckTales remake. Yeah, new DuckTales. Woo! Woohoo! Also, we beat the boss. There it goes. Poor Prime Mantis. Very cute. Goodbye. Push him off the bridge! Yeah. Whoosh! Right off the side! I created the perfect system! The thing about I love that this imitates style, noble. like in movies, you know, they always it's have to impossible. yell at these seeds, because it's, it's powerful. So right in front of us, all the time. That's so true. Yeah. Know that because I <laughs> it's so much I different here, because it's, like, not the same. And the wind's not being, like, super so loud. Clue. Yeah. I'm and, they're, like, their hair isn't blowing. Do you like Clue's suit? Yes. I like Clue and Rensselaer's suit. Yeah, Rensselaer's suit's cool. Sam's suit's okay. But the name That's Sam is kind of lame. Oh! He threw him! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Straight up wrestling move. Oh, Riku's keyblade looks cool in this. I, I know. I know. Dad is dead. Go. He dies. What? 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 When? I don't remember that part. <laughs> Remember what you came for. You know, and when why I is he this? scared of her when she got her butt kicked like four times? He knows what he's here for. He, he's like, oh, you have the desk, it's mine. Oh. Don't kick old men across the face. Come on, guys. It's not his no. disc. No, they traded the discs. They fooled you. He's my son. It's a father-son story. Go! Wow. That is that that's I wish stuff right there. I could jump that far. Yeah. It's time. No. Sam. It's what he wants. That's the most emotion we've seen on Cora's face this entire episode. Or she hasn't looked dead and glassy-eyed. Yeah. They're playing the sad Kingdom Hearts music. Yes! <laughs> yeah, it'd be like, here's the sad moment, time to cry. Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> and they just leave Riku there, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's just so, you know, Riku doesn't leave with them. Goodbye. Because they're... <laughs> Riku's just like, oh, okay. It's the Tron logo, guys. Yeah. It's iconic. Don't even think about it. Oh, this is the part that's kind of cool in the movie. 
Why didn't... What? Why didn't he do this sooner? Well, because it had to be shown with, like, Riku standing there. Oh, I absorbed the evil aspects into myself. Well, it's like a replication of him. Oh, yeah. But he so. still absorbed his own self. Yeah. Imagine if someone wrote a fanfic where Sonic absorbed Shadow because that was his evil side or something. Uh, oh, no. Don't give them ideas. I don't have to get them don't. ideas. It's already been you done, probably. Oh, no. I remember someone was like, I didn't like the origin of Shadow, so instead, long story short, Shadow comes from Metal Sonic's remains or something like no. that. No. The origin story of Shadow is not great, but it's not bad, so fight bad. me. I mean, it would have been fine in Sonic Adventure 2. Experiment! It's Shadow! Oh, no! Well, yeah, I mean, but I kind of like that Shadow has made from the DNA of aliens, which is why he's lived so long, and, yeah, you know, true. some of the other and stuff. Yeah, that's so cool. Oh, hey, who's this hottie? Look at hottie McCoy. Wow, I need you to step off my boyfriend? I can't believe you just called him hot. Just kidding, you can keep calling him hot. He's, he's fire guy. Look at him, he's blazing. Dylan it's hot in here. Conscious again. I need to turn on a fan. Still yeah, better turn I, on I, your I AC. Yep, that I... Not gotcha. in my room. Thanks, Ariel. Well, I guess I'll for letting me know of my misery. Don't. <laughs> if they were back, we would have found them by now. Oh, his little under-eye tattoos are gone. Yeah. To some other world or what? I highly doubt it. When someone who's no, just stop. Don't talk. Here, they should return to the place where it happened. And forget his voice a lot. Available for whatever reason, a refuge is made for them in the realm between a world called Traverse Town. They would be sent there, or perhaps. No, look. Okay. <laughs> the fact is, we're here. We've been recompleted. So, right? Axel just doesn't care. <laughs> so they should be here too, plain and simple. I agree. It is strange. <sighs> what a drag. <laughs> Could they not have been recompleted at all? Well, you see, <laughs> you know what? I'll bring them back myself. Huh? How exactly? Through true love. Why do I always get stuck with the icky jobs? Hey. He's got such a big smile when he says icky he jobs. He knows his own memes. It's the line he said in 3-5 slash 2 days. He's like, I know this meme. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Memory and Heart Trophy. We'll see you guys in the next one where we go to the other world. So, bye bye Bye. Axel is hot. It's true. This is true.